Dear brothers. I am Atama. Following our journey, I will comment on Chapter 7 of the Book 1 of Telos. This chapter is focused on our children. There is a big difference in the birth of our children. Bringing a new being into the world, as you say, is something very responsible, it is something very desired and planned. The birth of children is not permitted in Telos unless they are planned and desired, and for the evolution of the whole. I'm not going to go into details about how this happens here, as this is in the book. I just want to comment on what has been done to your children in this world. Their children often no longer experience what it is like to be a child. They have duties, commitments, activities, often even more strenuous than for you adults. Children are not children, because they are taught from a young age to be better, better than the little friend, better than the other, better in everything. The child is not given the right to choose, the right to do what he wants, which may be doing nothing at that moment. Education in your world does not expand knowledge, does not expand the capacity for life, for survival, for doing what you like. It's as if several books were taken and placed inside a child's mind. Will she make the most of it? I would say no, especially because going to school becomes tedious, boring, and children end up spending this time because they have to, because it is forced by their society. They are not children within the spectrum of the word. And you parents, impose on your children, in addition to school, which is already boring and exhausting, a series of commitments, rules, so that that child becomes the best at everything, so that your son or daughter is someone who stand out in society. They impose activities on the child that they are often unable to carry out. Why? No, because she is incapable, but because it is not her soul's path, it is being imposed by the will of a father or mother, who often want their child to follow their own path, not what the child wants child actually wants. Today your children are out of balance because the souls that arrived here are souls that are pure unconditional love, and cannot understand a world so violent, and so full of meaningless rules, that is imposed on them, and they react to that. So a series of diseases are appropriate for your children so that they remain within what society imposes. And so you have raised your children. Many children are at the peak of stress due to completing a day of activities that are often impossible to complete, even more so for a child. And why is that? Because father, mother, or whoever takes care of them doesn't want to have to do the work of caring, educating, or loving that child. So fill her time with activities for someone else to do, for someone else to educate, for someone else to teach. They place the responsibility of education on others where the role of father and mother is not that. First of all, we need to make sure that our children grow up loved and respected, and when I say that, I don't mean spoiled, doing whatever they want. Children need to be educated and taught and parents nowadays don't want to waste time on that. And many young people, who were children once a short time ago, are now lost because they did not receive love at the right time. So they don't love themselves and they don't love others. They are fickle, they are empty, they are totally disconnected from any feeling of union and family. There will come a time in the future when their children will remember what they came here to do, and many will move away from their parents, because they will not see in them those who expected to receive love and affection, and will be welcomed by many parents who on the contrary know how to love their children. Your children. This will be a difficult time for many on the planet, but I assure you that the children, evolved souls who are incarnated today, will not remain in the third dimension because of the parents they have. This will not happen, and by then it will be too late for many parents to realize the time they wasted next to such an evolved soul, who was very capable of teaching them so much but who they were not able to learn or respect. Whoever loves their children, who respects them and who acts as father and mother, providing education and love, will have their children at their side, they will rise together, now those who do not create a correct path for their children will be separated from them, 
because we will not allow the evolved souls who came here with a mission to be lost due to selfishness and the lack of love from their parents. These words are not meant to cause fear, because those who love their children and respect them have nothing to fear. The problem is those who have children just to have children, they don't know what it means to love a child, they don't know what it means to raise a child, they don't know what the term family is. To conclude, I would just say, respect your children, let them be children, don't try to make them adults before their time. As it is in the book, yes, our children watch programs on their television, not everything is lost, but we know how to choose those that are evolutionary, that are important for understanding. So know how to do it too. But above all, never forget, children need to have a child's life, not an adult's life.